What's up everybody, I'm back. Uh, after having two weeks or so, my ears blocked up, so I can hear now. So it's my first brand new poem since then. I'm recording now, it's called Oh How I Missed You Sound. <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate. Oh, how I missed you sound, for many reasons really. From hearing the lovely TV, to how I slurp my tea. It's been a week of, eh? Pardon? Sorry, what? Say again? What a gift of hearing is, no doubt, without, it's a true pain. It's amazing how we don't miss it, or things to begin with. It's like a squared box area. Things are truly limited. Our senses are top of our agenda, precious to us all. Let's not only notice it when in trouble, like an SOS call. All my senses hang off my body, like a huge chandelier. Each bulb fits a smokeless path all bright and clearly clear. Even sitting all stretched out on the sofa is great. Hearing cars driving by is part of my hearing they take. When when my ears were blocked, so was my writing process. I couldn't hear my ideas express. It was hollow, my head. My ears block was like a knot on a long string of signals. Blocking the waves of words, redirecting deafness, only refuels. Hearing, for me now, is like a gold bar amongst silver coins. It moves my heart in a waltzing way to a bouncing boing. I'm putting olive oil in twice a week to keep my wax away. Keep the build up low to capture sounds that I love and crave. By Bob Rainsbury. Perch tries chord, no instrument can play. My inspirations are Morrissey and William Wordsworth. And this poem is all of them. It's texted by copyright. Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, Have a great evening. Take care. See ya.